Yo, yo, this your boy, Mr. Mess, man. Shout out Mikey T, the movie star. We live on Report Card Radio. You know how we rock. Let's talk about something serious, man. I want to talk about this guy who actually lived one state away from me, Aaron Hernandez. Mm. Played for the Patriots. Can you give me your thoughts on Aaron Hernandez? How did... How did it feel to see a fellow player in the NFL throw it all away like that? It, it was sad, man. You know, it really was. It really was, man. But Aaron, but, but here's the thing, man. You know, we all got to deal with karma in life sometimes. And, you know, he, he he had done a lot of things. He had no business. You know what I'm saying? Some are cute. We don't know the full truth. But what I do know is that, you know, he was a part of some things he had no business in. And that just put him in a bad situation. Did you get a chance to see much of his character? Uh, not not really, but we really didn't get along like that. Like, I just, you know, I have a natural knack for people. And, you know, don't talk to me, I don't talk to you type of thing. We never had word verbatim, but we've been in the same room multiple times. And that's what's weird about it, you know what I mean? But, I'm, you know, I'm kind of glad because, you know, I, I was coming back to the University of Florida when I was with the Jaguar. You know, hanging out with some of the boys, young boys, and mentoring them. And who's to know? Who, who say I couldn't have been old and Lord? You know what I mean? So you never know. You know, you just gotta, you just gotta be careful, man. You gotta keep your head on the swivel with everybody, man. I don't care who they are. <laughs> everybody. Did you notice something off about him, or was he just like just a regular guy? I mean, he was regular, but he was real quiet. Like if he ain't deal with you, he don't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like he ain't got nothing to say to you if he don't really deal with. See, me, I'm a personal person. I talk to everybody. I don't mind talking to whoever. Just don't disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? And he had that same type of aura where, you know, you know if you said something to him, then you was probably not to get in this shit. You know what I mean? So I just left him alone. It wasn't about, you know, nobody being scared or nothing. It's just being, you know, plus he's a college kid. I'm in the league at this time. So <laughs> what I look like, Jason Mahon, you know, a college kid. Um, Did he... uh? Looking at his career, did he even make it through halfway of what his career would have been? Or Man, dude, that kid had a chance to be one of the greatest tight ends ever, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? He definitely was a phenom talent, man. Like, he played, like, he was stronger than what he looked, too. Trust me. That's what a lot of people don't understand. Her name is strength. He was a lot stronger than what he looked. But, dude, that dude could have been, man, he could have been a 15-year Hall of Famer. I remember uh, echoes from... A coach saying, "Man, either this kid gonna be the first ballot Hall of Famer, he gonna be, the, or he gonna be the first ballot sale mate. You know what I mean? A, a first ballot jail sale <laughs> for a long time. You know, it, you know, it, it just depends." So the the coaches did shout his name and show him a lot of interest. Oh yeah, I mean, dog, listen, this this is this is league, this is football. You know what I'm saying? These coaches love who can make the plays. And he try to improvise the best way. Sad as it is, but it's just it's a sad reality. But that's what it is, man. Like it's still business. They, whatever making them look good, personal stuff. They don't. A lot of them don't want to deal with. It. You know, I can't say that about Bill Belichick and Rob Marinelli and a lot of the greats. But there's a lot of coaches out there who just you know all they care about is how they look. They don't care about what you're going through, what you got going on. You know what I mean? They don't care about none of that. You know, can you do this for me? So let's do a comparison. Mm -hmm. Tell me if I'm off with this comparison, but could we compare Aaron Hernandez and Grunk? Yeah, definitely. But they're just two types, two different types. You know, Hernandez was the type that, you know, you could put him in the backfield and he could come out the backfield and, you know, drop off a drop off a cornerback. You know what I'm saying? Like, Grunk could do it by just strength, his strength and his size. He could just body a corner. But, but you know, Hernandez had strength. Speed and agility. He he ran like a little guy. He was a big guy. So it's definitely a different. But Gronk is definitely. I mean, Gronk had a bit more body of work to show. You know what I'm saying? Had a, had a lot more time to show his skill set. But you know, Hernandez could have definitely been not too far under. I promise you that. 